Hey, Boris, put on the news. Okay. Local Polygon News presents, The Russia War with Ukraine is getting really really bad. A local Ukrainian is going to tell us more about what's happening in his country. So tell us more about the war. In Bukka, more than 25,000 civilians were killed, Mayor Anatoly Fedoruk said Wednesday. A day after visiting Bukka, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky detailed reports of killing, rape and torture in an address to the UN Security Conk. OK Rachel. Back to you. Anyways, let's talk about Christie's show's biggest sculptures abroad via hologram. Christie's has found a futuristic way to exhibit art overseas, by hologram. The LA-based company Proto created the futuristic facsimile of Edgar Diggers' sculpture Petit Dancers de Quaitazins, which is on view now in San Francisco and will travel to Hong Kong via cloud. In May, it will be sold for an estimated $20 million to $30 million, during the auction of work from the late investor and bases collection. And how Louise Bluine's Southampton mansion is hitting the block, the collector and former art publisher Louise Bluine has been trying to sell her sprawling compound in the Tony Enclave of Southampton for years. Now, the mansion at 366 June Lane is set to hit the auction block on May 2nd, according to property records. Six years ago, when Bluein was named in the Panama Papers for her various offshore accounts, she attempted to sale the property for $145 million, and then again for $110 million in 2019. China proposes restrictions on NFTs, the Web3 community in China could be dealt a major blow as the Securities Association of China proposes banning the use of NFTs for securitization and transacting them in crypto. The financial regulators are aiming to curtail money laundering and other illegal activities enabled by NFTs. Also, artist Cynthia Plaster casted eyes, Cynthia Albreton, famous for making plaster casts of celebrity fallacies in the 1960s and single quote 70s, including Jaime Hendrix and Jello Biafras, has died at age 74. Albreton later expanded her practice to include casts of breasts of female artists such as Peaches and Carano from the Yeah Yeah Yees. In 2010, she unsuccessfully ran for mayor of Chicago promising to be hard on crime. National Women's History Museum documents pandemic stories. The staff of the museum has collected journals that capture women's experiences over the past two years. The nearly 500 entries serve as a time capsule of some of the most chaotic times seen in recent history. Dallas Museum of Art acquires 10 works from Dallas Art Fair. The 10 works include the 2022 self-portrait by Cowshine Finley and a 2021 painting, The Wall, by Jesse Homer French, both from various small fires galleries. The museum also acquired Sarah Awad's painting Quiet Friend slash Silent Earth after Rilke. 2022 from Night Gallery. Now time to sponsor some commercials. Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> okay, since it's the weekend, let's watch the game show. Okay. <laughs> 